Tonight with Conan O'Brien. Tonight from the new sitcom, Ken, Kevin, Neyland. From Baywatch, Gina Lee, Nolan. And musical guest, Collective Soul. With Andy Richter and the Max Weinberg 7. I feel like a fool. My agent just told me I should be getting paid for this job. Now, here's your host. this happy because it was free, ladies and gentlemen, to get in here. That's why. If they had to pay one dime, they'd be screaming at me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, a lot of fun stuff, don't we, Andy? Fun show? A lot of fun stuff. I'm excited about tonight's show. <laughs> I'm sensually aroused by tonight's show. It's a good one. Well, a good thing they're shooting you from the waist up. <laughs> I don't think anyone would have said anything or noticed, Andy. <laughs> no, I'm very excited tonight. And you know what? I heard something very interesting today, ladies and gentlemen. This is about a few hours ago. I read this in the paper. I want to share it with you. I find this fascinating. A new study, ladies and gentlemen, shows men with a lot of older brothers have a greater chance of being gay. Yeah. That's true. That's in the paper today. Yeah. Yeah, especially if their brothers' names are Tito and Jermaine. That's, I heard that. It was in the paper. No. I, this is a study. I got big entertainment news for you people, ladies and gentlemen. Kate Moss turned 22 today. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, and apparently, uh, right before she blew out the candles, she made a wish that she'd be able to keep the cake down. And, uh... Yeah! Just smile through the hate. There you go. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I heard this today. This is fascinating. In an interview, Paula Barbieri said she broke up with O.J. by leaving a message on his answering machine. Yeah. I can't believe she wouldn't break up with him face to face. I, 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 in fact, have you noticed, ladies and gentlemen, we've made a few changes here? Have, you, have people noticed this? We got a bandstand over here now. Isn't that amazing? This changes everything, and Andy, you've moved a couple of feet closer I to me. Know. Look how it's close I am. <laughs> you are light as a feather. Yes, I am. Hollow bones. This is really weird, though. You get it? Is this tough to get used to for oh, you? No, it's all right. I didn't. But look even... at the band. You can just sort of like walk over here, and this is weird. It's just I don't. I'm not used to it being this way. We've done like 530 shows one way, uh -huh. then for no reason we spend eighty dollars and change the set. <laughs> And now it looks like this. It's very unsettling. We had extra lumber. <laughs> That's Just why we did around, this. Yeah. It's the only reason. Well, let's talk about tonight's show, folks. From the new sitcom Champs, a good friend of mine, very funny guy, Kevin Nealon is on the show. <laughs> we also have folks from Baywatch, the most watched television show in the world. Gina Lee Nolan is with us tonight. And finally, we're all very excited because our musical guest tonight, Collective Soul, going to perform for you people. And of course, we have the newly oriented Max Weinberg 7. Hey there, Max. Hey, Colin. Thanks, 
guys. How you doing, Andy? I'm good. You know, it's weird. We just had a, a week off, and mm -hmm. both of us, both Andy and I, we had a week off, and we went our separate ways, and we both missed the big blizzard here in New York. Yeah, I completely missed it. You were in I Las was in Vegas. Las Vegas shooting a remote. That's coming right. Coming up soon. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Good work, Andy. Yeah. Now they have to watch us for the rest of the week. And, yeah. I was, and I was stranded in Las Vegas. Cool. What a shame that I missed the blizzard. And, was stuck in Las Vegas. Had a lot of 99 cent breakfast. That's right. Excellent. Good. But I, I, I came back and uh, what I spent the rest of the week doing is I went to a joke shop and I bought a lot of those lifelike wiggling human hands. Uh huh. I put them in snow banks all over the city. <laughs> Man, that was fun. It's fun. It's created havoc Woo! all over the city. So many people shrieking. <laughs> and then, oh, oh. Rick got it's that Richter again. Yeah. Everyone knows it's you somehow. I know. And do they I really know. They shake their fists in the go, sky? Richter! Because <laughs> I'm usually on top of a building. Yeah. Looking down. Oh, yeah. Someday when this thing's all over, you and I should get a sitcom where it always ends with me <laughs> screaming, Richter! <laughs> you know, with my pants on fire or something. <laughs> That's what we should really be doing. Yeah. This is a complete waste of our time and everyone else's time. We should stop it soon. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, there you go. Something everyone can get behind.